to install the bulkhead, which is what the water pump will suck the water through the filter from, and then glued together the inlet ball valve and union fittings, as well as wrap both the inlet and outlet sides of the water pump with Teflon tape. And then slide the whole assembly into place to see how it fits together. We can now start on the discharge fittings of the water pump. With the water pump's fittings now securely in place, we can remove the chiller from the system and begin to thread its fittings into the end of it. We'll start first by removing the plastic shroud that surrounds the unit. As you can see here, the water comes in on the bottom end of the chiller barrel, exits the top of the chiller barrel. There are union fittings in place so that this chiller can be removed out of the system. The union fittings threaded back together and the system still can be operational while the chiller is being serviced or repaired. With the inlet and outlet fittings in place and the power cord extending out the end of the chiller, we can now re-secure the shroud around the unit. As you can see, once the unit's in place, there's not a whole lot of room for movement. So this is where the union fittings become extremely beneficial. We now want to connect the discharge side of the water pump with the inlet side of the chiller and we'll do so with a short length of flexible tubing that will slip over the hose barb fittings on both the outlet end of the pump and the inlet side of the chiller. And then secure the connections with plastic snap clamps. The next step in the process is the discharge side of the chiller. We use PVC or hard pipe on this end of the filter system. The advantage of the hard pipe is its rigidity. Its disadvantage is its preciseness. So with that in mind, we're going to begin to assemble the final or far end of the filter system as it would hook into the bottom of the tank and basically trim or fill the gap between. This gap will be in the form of a T that will ultimately become a bypass for the filter system. So it comes down to the distance between these two points here. And so with the PVC cement, we begin to finalize the fittings as they will attach to each other on the final or far end of the filter system. This is the gate valve. This is where you get the fine tuning of water flow. And this is the last point before it goes up into the aquarium itself. Well, I'm glad I test uh, fit everything because with those glued in there like that, was that too short? It wouldn't have been a good secure fitting. So I was able to pull it apart. I'm gonna cut this bigger, extend it a little bit longer, maybe another half inch. So now, with the slightly longer piece of pipe, we can now complete the discharge side of the filter system and glue in the bypass valve. And here you see the protein skimmer with its collection cup and cap. 
This is a Venturi style skimmer, so it requires an air inlet on the inlet side of the water pump. This is how it creates its air bubbles. So, in quick review, once the water spills out of the tank into the overflow, it'll drop down the overflow to the two one-inch drain lines, which will work its way into the wet-dry trickle filter. The water is then drawn out by the water pump, but passes through the ball and union valves. You can see the discharge has the union fitting as well. It runs up into the inlet of the chiller system. The discharge of the chiller then turns it into hard pipe, which runs across the top of the tank, through the bypass, and over through the gate valve, and then back up into the tank. Once the water reaches the tank, it'll be discharged into the tank in the form of what's called laminar water flow. Okay, we are uh, done with the plumbing part of it. We're now ready to try to hook up all the electrical ends, the plugs, the refrigeration unit, the protein skimmer. And then we're just about ready to put water in it. So with the quick assistance of one of the cabinet makers, we've drilled a passage for the electrical cables and cords to pass through. It looks like we're just about ready to put water in the tank.